Canada is the second largest consumer of prescribed opioids in the world. And for the six most prescribed opioids, Saskatchewan's prescribing stands well above national averages. Last year, there were 119 opioid-related deaths in the province. Regina and Saskatoon also had the most hospitalizations related to opioid poisoning per capita in Canada in 2017. Now Saskatchewan has a prescription review program designed to identify inappropriate prescribing, but the auditor says it needs some work. She says the Ministry of Health does not actively monitor opioid dispensing practices or all of the drugs being prescribed. There's a number of things that we found that they are actively doing. It's this monitoring end that we think that they need to do more on. So they're, they're doing, they are doing pieces. It's this part that, uh, that they need to pay more attention to. The report is making a number of recommendations. Most of them revolve around better record keeping of what's being prescribed and tracking misuse. The province's deputy health minister says Saskatchewan doesn't have a review program for opioid dispensing, but pharmacies do have access to information about higher risk prescriptions. So uh, there are some safeguards. I wouldn't say that it's not that there, there is nothing being done, but in terms of having a, a review program that is looking retrospectively and identifying concerns uh, that are taking place, I think that is, uh, I think that's an observation, a recommendation the auditor has made. We, we acknowledge that there's, uh, that there's some value in that recommendation and something we intend to pursue. In a statement, the College of Physicians and Surgeons says it appreciates the auditor's recommendations. It says some of the concerns have already been addressed, while others are being worked on. Corey Coleman, CBC News, Regina.